Hey, what's up guys? This is the fourth uh, guide that I'm coming out with. Uh, this one is going to be a replay analysis type of guide. So I'm going to go over a replay here uh, of a TVC game. The last uh, video I put out was about Tyron vs. Zerg Heli and Manchi opener. The, the old school Heli and Manchi opener. So, um... Yeah, this game I'm going to go over a TBZ replay that was actually against Vibe. And the name of the replay is versus Root Vibe, TBZ, Mech vs. Lurkers. So, yeah, let's get, in, let's get into this uh, replay here. Gonna do some replay analysis, so to speak. It's from a previous patch, the last patch, whatever. I don't know what maintenance they did, but yeah, let's get into this. And I will give you guys my thought process on the game and what happened and, and all that sorts of good stuff. Let me close this. It's a 30 minute game, so I'm going to speed through it here. I have to excuse my, uh, my Abby sniffles as usual. So we'll watch this from my perspective. Um, so we can see here, scouting SCV. I always scout after barracks. In uh, Tanner vs. Zerg. Going for the normal one rack Reaper expand. I'll put the production tab up as well so you guys can uh, can see that since I'm kind of speeding through the game here. It's a 30 minute game. Command center upgrade complete. So again, factory down, reactor heli opener for me. Our SCVs are under attack. I managed to deny his. Uh, his, Zerg, his, uh, his drone for making the third base there a little bit. And I actually went third CC. I went. I played Greedy this game because I know Vibe also plays Greedy a lot of times, so. <clears throat> I built my third CC before my Starport. And then I got my Starport here. And, uh... You can see that I'm going for... For heli production, oh. and then I think I went Banshee, right? Oh no, I actually went Fusion Core this game. So, oh wait, I did make a Banshee. We'll, we'll see if I made a uh, see if I made a BC. Now, the reasoning for building the Banshee, and you can set micro and Hellions against uh, his links here. It is safe to get a Banshee in case they try and roach all in you. I go three factories uh, and double armory. As well, this game. Really early command center lift for me. Oh, That's This is like... This was greedy as hell for me. Like, five minute command center at the third. Usually six minutes, 25 seconds is like the average command center time. That, But again, I played extremely greedy. Double armory, triple CC. And then you double tech lab factories. Getting my fourth factory as well. So this game was mega greedy. But again, you know, playing against Vibe, I knew that he plays pretty greedy himself. Research. So going up to five factories, or even six factories, Additional oh, I went up to six factories this game, and I made a fusion core, but I didn't make BCs. I kept making Banshees instead. I'm um, trying to do some damage here. Could do no damage to the Hellions. And so, yeah. So this Hellion Banshee opener... I, I went into Cyclone Mech. It looks like after that I did make, I think, one tank somewhere. I don't know. Oh, maybe, no, I didn't. Upgrade complete. But I'm making Banshees continuously and getting Banshee speed. I didn't make BCs this game. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not sure why. But anyways, uh... The idea is you keep accumulating banshees, Research. clear creep with them, pick stuff off if you can. You cannot lose these banshees though. I think I get a queen there. He wasn't paying attention so he didn't transfuse. And uh, the reason I'm building banshees one by one is to deal with swarm hosts. So that's one thing about mech play guys. If you continuously build banshees one at a time, that way, by the time Swarmos pop out, you'll have like five or six Banshees. Assuming you keep them all alive. Mineral field depleted. Engine screaming. <clears throat> so yeah, he did go Swarmos this game. My, my nose, I, 
It sucks when I re right when I start recording this. Can't breathe, man. Typical, typical. Anyways, Banshee is clearing creep, and then I go into Cyclone Mech after that. And again, just trying to be as active as I can with the Banshees. The other nice thing about the Banshees, they can deal with Roach Ravager, which is pretty nice. But they're just giving a lot of value. Those Banshees are getting a ton of value. And then pushing out with uh, the Cyclone back here. And then he comes out with Mass Muta. Now you do have to remember that if uh, somebody goes Muta, you can't keep building Cyclones. You actually need Thor's Widow Mine, you need like other stuff. Now luckily I think these didn't do that much damage. They didn't do much at all to be honest. Hellions managed to clean this up. Base is under attack. I'm just gonna speed through this. I'm on times four. At this point, I'm already maxed a lot of CCs. Research complete. <clears throat> now the cyclones, you kind of do want to trade those and get as much value out of them as you can while you can. Complete. He does lose most of the mutas. Command center upgrade add-on. Also, my upgrades are very good. Uh, this game, like I'm already on three two. Now I have what, keep in mind when you play mech, I have one group of cyclones here with Hellions, and then my main army is on the right hand side of the map. Depleted. So it's kind of like I have two armies, the immobile Thor tank army, and then the really mobile cyclone Hellion army. Sometimes that will happen uh, in TVZ if you go for cyclones. And I don't think I even had Ghost this game, which you usually need for Vipers. And he is going Lurkers. So having a Raven or two in here is really, really good. Really, really useful. Oh yeah, I managed to get this pick off. Picked off all of his warmness with the Cyclones, which was really, really important. And uh, yeah, now my army is looking really strong, getting a Barracks. To add on ghosts. Or I should be at some point. Some fire here. Still roaming around with the cyclones. My main army is on the right hand side. I sent Thors down to this base. Cyclones get picked off, that's okay. I refill the supply with siege tanks, get it trying to add in ghosts and, and whatnot. I'm sieging my planetary with lurkers, I managed to repair barely. Engage into this. I'm gonna kill this base, should just let this base die, don't try and defend it. Sometimes it's better to let a base die and keep your army alive if it's a bad position. Because you don't want to lose this much Vespian gas. <clears throat> don't want to lose that much gas in units, really really bad if you do. You can replace the command center, you can't replace this army you know, thousands upon thousands of gas, uh, not really replaceable. Trying to limit his income. His army is actually extremely scary right now, so the ghosts are necessary here to deal with the vipers, but this is actually a scary, a scary, scary Zerg army. Banshee's still running around doing damage. You'll notice I have tanks. I call this the anti nightstorm tank. You put a tank at each of your bases to deal with uh, to deal with Nidus. So in a moment here, he's going to actually run in and engage. I try to scramble as many vipers as I can. I still managed to get a really, really good trade. Like extremely, extremely good trade for me. Start making BCs, and he replaces oh, all of his army with Hydras. Yeah, still good for me. Base. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Sorry. <laughs> didn't think. Uh, didn't think my allergies would kick in while doing a, a video review. <sighs> 
Now at this point, command center upgrade complete. Like that trade right there, pretty much won the game. I'm just replacing my army with Hellions. The boat, like my army is pretty fierce. If we look at what I have, I have a Ghost, 12 tanks, 10 Hellions, and 9 Thors. So the Ghost is for EMP on the Vipers. Kills this. He kills this base. But he loses all this. I don't think that's worth it to kill this base and then lose all this Vespin gas in, in lurkers and stuff. Because as you'll see here, I actually block him from re-entering the Nidus with the... Like, he tries to go back to it, but I, I block him off. He can't get back in, so then he just burrows. Because like, oh, I can't. I can't get back in that. That's a lot of gas that he just lost. Now his gas bank is completely gone. Tries to damage my main with Nidus. Doesn't really do much. Kills that, which is good for him. But at this point, I'm still at max supply. I've kept all my gas units alive, which is what you want to do with mech. And he has no more gas. Like, his gas bank has been killed. Like, he's lost so much. So much Vespian gas. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of. This game was kind of won through. If it. Like. Extreme efficiency rather than like brute force. Just extremely efficient with my uh with my engagements and my armies. <clears throat> and then yeah, that's pretty much game at this point. I mean he can kill this base, but again. Command center upgrade complete. He can't replenish his gas army to I mean, he, he just so far behind that it's gonna be tough at this point for him to do much. Mineral field. And this is what you want to do in a mech game. You want to be very efficient. You want to kill your opponent's gas bank with good engagements. And keep as many of your gas units alive. Take a base if you can. And that's GG. So. So how did I win this game? Mostly by, you know, that, that cost-efficient engagement here. Sacking a base when appropriate. Keeping my army... Basically, mech is all about keeping your army alive. You can trade, but you want to make sure that when you trade, you're not just throwing away gas units inefficiently. Like, the, the more efficient you can be with your gas units, the better. So, thank you guys for watching. I will post this up on uh, YouTube. And I hope this game... This uh, replay review will help you guys out. And uh, yeah, I will be on stream later. I might be playing some League later. But uh, yeah, this is, you know, anti Nidus Storm Siege Tank. You guys also see that uh, this game. Same thing, anti Nidus Storm Tank here. And uh, yeah, so I will, you know, I will see you guys later. Let me know what you want for the next video. Uh, whether it's like a VOD review or a guide. I'll. I'll figure out something to make for tomorrow, but see you guys later. Peace out, everybody, and uh, go make it happen on the ladder.